Peroxide itself is a um, substance made of water with an extra molecule of oxygen attached to the water molecule. And so when you see it foam and bubble, it's just the extra oxygen molecule coming off the water molecule, so you're left with just plain water. So um, it's a pretty benign substance to put in wounds and in your ear, but you must make sure to put anything in your ear that you have an intact um, tympanic membrane or eardrum. This um, thin membrane separates your external ear from your internal ear, where all the tiny bones or ossicles are that allow you to be able to transmit vibration from the eardrum to the cochlear or middle ear so that you can hear. If you have a hole in your eardrum or a non-intact eardrum and you get fluid in it and get infections there, it can cause damage to the bones and to their ability to conduct vibration and therefore you can lose your hearing. So it's important um, to make sure your eardrum is intact before putting any fluid in it.